When you go on as many adventures as we do, you have to be prepared for anything. Like if you head into the Alpine in June and suddenly there's a freak snowstorm. Nature just loves to throw us a curveball every chance that she gets. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. We're in the mountains high above the Silkamine Valley, exploring old mining roads and looking for a warmer place to spend the night after escaping a snowstorm on the Whipsaw Trail. But more on that in a bit. old hopper david has uh gone to check out this mine shaft up here how was it david uh it's underwhelming <laughs> underwhelming This is the French mines, long abandoned and super cool to drive into and explore. David from Off the Grind is with us on this adventure, and we have our very similar Bronco builds out together for some cool photos in the caves. Places like this are pretty rare, and it's a cool experience to get our vehicles here. Hey, we got the trucks into this old mine. Just taking a look around, taking some photos. It's super cool in here. I've been in here once before, and I forgot how cool it was. All these little holes in the ceiling with rain coming through, little mine shafts and tunnels. Hey, I think I see a Sasquatch or something over here. Oh, it's Sasquatch Teddy. <laughs> Sasquatch. What do they do? They throw rocks and stuff. Yeah, what are you uh, doing over there? It's just me, Sean. Yeah, what are you doing? Getting some shots. Yeah. In the mine. Doing what we do.
fantastic view out here. We came up this shelf road here on the way up. Awesome spot. We're going to camp here for the night. So, time to get set up, get some dinner going, and relax a little bit. Yeah, the weatherman took a vacation for this trip. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I'm just joking. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hear me, I'm calling. Catch me, I'm falling. David is cooking us up some um, pulled pork sliders. What do we got inside this little package? A nice smoked pork shoulder. Whoa. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that's the saddest thing that's ever happened to me. What are we gonna do? We're still gonna eat it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I I'll I'll literally eat the part that was on the floor. I don't care. It smells so good. Can we rinse it off? You ever watch Iron Chef? Every day when I cook. Oh man, that's so good. Is that all right? Yeah. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. This is a fantastic morning. Like way better than yesterday. Yesterday, things did not go according to plan. Actually, let's rewind. Let's go back and check it out. <laughs> Daddy! What's happening? What's up? You How are you? To, I'm uh, overexposing you. There we go. <laughs> I like your shirt. I've been exposed. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty you, good. You can get your own at dirtyanddangerous.com. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've just arrived at the Whipsaw Trail. I've got Teddy with me, of course. Uh, did you lose your glasses on the ground over here? Nope. Are you sure? They, those are not mine. I think they're Oakley's. Wow. <laughs> so I thought it'd be interesting if we brought the Bronco out to the Whipsaw Trail and also brought another Bronco that's almost identical. Same color and everything. So we've got David here from Off the Grind. It's going to be good. It's going to be good times. I never thought I would be at a disadvantage getting 35s, but I feel a little bit... We are going to be doing the Whipsaw Trail, which is a blue trail here on Onyx, which means we can pull her up and get all the data on the trail here. And see here, the highest elevation is 1,921 meters. So that's up in the Alpine. Difficulty moderate, 96 kilometers. It's a good trail. We're a little bit concerned with the weather because we're getting up to such a high elevation. It might snow on us. It would be unpleasant, but you know, it is what it is. We'll deal with it. It'll be fun. This is one of the uh, more famous trails we have here in British Columbia. And if you ever come out here to try it out, it's marked on Onyx. You can check it out here. If you don't have Onyx Off-Road, I've got a link in the description where you can save 20% on the Elite membership, which also gives you discounts on all sorts of uh, stuff from companies that Onyx has partnered with, as well as, of course, all the all the maps and data and all the good stuff that comes with Onyx. So I'm excited to see what you Canadians have been hiding from us. So You guys probably have the good maple syrup too, huh? We just get some crappy export. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We give you the weak stuff. You Americans get the weak stuff. The Whipsaw is always a good time, and I'm stoked to see how the Bronco performs on a trail with some good obstacles, if we make it that far. Well, we are barely into the trail, and it is already snowing. Well, I think we're definitely in for an interesting weekend. Right. 
Snow in late June at this elevation is not unheard of, but with the extremely early and hot summer we've been having, it was definitely not what we were expecting. With the 2023, we... Yeah. We got snow, boys! To be honest, I prefer snow to rain. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. Yeah, rain I kind of anticipated, but snow was definitely. What do you guys think about camping here next to this little body of water? Awesome. I gotta be honest, man, I wasn't expecting uh, winter up here. It's Canada, eh? It is Canada, <laughs> eh? All of Canada is winter. Yeah, how are you feeling about this? Um, it's like this is okay. Yeah, this is not too bad. Yeah, yeah I was not planning on winter in July. Well, it's not July, it's uh, almost the end of June. But I do have the right jacket, so I think we're good. We're gonna set up camp here next to this uh, little lake and uh, make some dinner. I think. Teddy's gonna make us cheeseburgers. Uh, no. What oh. you heard is incorrect. What I'm actually making is bacon cheddar burgers. Well, <laughs> that sounds way better than well, cheeseburgers. Got bacon and bacon adds an extra 10 levels to it. Yeah. Look at this burger. Teddy, you're a madman. Bacon cheddar. I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> we can't get a fire going, so we gotta warm ourselves going. up from the inside. Oh, you brought maple syrup? What? You even got square cubes of ice? <laughs> I got square cubes. All right, so we'll put that in there. And then we've got dippables as well. What is happening right now? So there you go. Wow, that is amazing. Glad you like it. You're invited on every trip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you unwinding right now? I'm unwinding. As nighttime approached, the snow showed no signs of letting up. It started sticking to the trees and the ground. I wonder what morning will bring. Even though it was cold, it was beautiful up here.
Well, guys, we woke up to uh, quite a bit of snow. Not quite what I was expecting. I think we're going to have to have a group discussion about uh, if we carry on or not. Because there's two or three inches of snow on the ground. It's still snowing pretty heavy. I mean, this snow as it sits isn't a problem. We can get through it. The problem is we're going very, very deep into a trail that we have to get out of. And there are steep declines and inclines that could be a problem if this snow continues. I mean, it may also be the case that we start driving and we get to a little bit lower elevation and it's just raining. That's really hard to say. But, I don't know. Let's talk to the guys. So, uh, <laughs> snowed. It snowed. Just a I, little. I totally was thinking we were going to wake up and it was going to be all gone. You even said you we're going to wake up and it's going to be sunshine. See, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does satellite say? Do you know? Oh, I didn't check. I can send out a... I think at this point, I mean, I think we know what's going to happen. I'll send out a request anyway. I think we're I good. I think we we keep going and we see just how it goes. And if we start to if we start to feel like we're struggling, maybe we talk about turning back. Okay. If you guys are comfortable with continuing, I think we should probably get some of the yeah, snow off the of snow this off. cover because oh, it almost just collapsed on us. We'd agreed to continue on into the trail, but the snow was starting to pile up more quickly, and I have to admit, I was a bit concerned. It was important to make sure that the whole crew was comfortable with what we were doing, and not just blindly following me into a storm. The forest with the, the snow just looks so good. Yeah, agreed, it's awesome. We certainly weren't expecting to be wheeling in snow in June, <laughs> but uh, this is what we got. We're going to keep going. The snow's not deep, so it's not really much of a challenge as far as traction so far. Um, it is piling up though, so we're going to have to be careful what we get ourselves into. You know, we want to be able to get back out, so we're going to play it by ear. We can always turn around. rock that I went around. I might not have even seen it. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> the kind of issues I'm having. Which is wild. Like I thought I thought it would have been fine. But you should be fine. I mean a stock stock vehicle could do this trail. Oh yeah, I just 
uh, surprised I hit that rock as hard as I did. I thought I had plenty of clearance. How are you feeling so far, though? I'm feeling fine. Get, There's a couple uh, of spots there was a little slippery, right? Yeah, you saw me sliding out. Uh, I didn't see you, but I was slipping a little bit, so. Yeah, there was, it was kind of down. It looked like the trail split, and I kind of started sliding into that trail. Yeah, yeah. So, that wasn't, I, I don't like that. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. It is a little slippery, but we'll see how she goes in the next little bit here. You feeling comfortable so far? Yeah. I do have to air down a bit more. Yeah, you do. I do have to. Okay. Progress was good and the snow wasn't playing much of a factor at all until we ran into an unexpected obstacle. Well, there's a giant broken down Chevy in the middle of the trail in front of us. Is the driver there or there's no driver? No, it's just sitting here and, and it's massive. There is a way around it, but I don't really like it. Are the doors unlocked? Can we put it in neutral and move it? It has no front wheels, dude. We got a vehicle in the middle of the trail here. It's broken down. It's not so easy. Uh, if there wasn't snow here, it, we might have enough traction. Uh, we'd slide right into him. We'd slide right into him. We can't even winch it out of the way because it doesn't have rolling power. Love this it. is the worst. We're in a terrible spot to turn around too. Yeah, we're backing up for a bit. Yeah, like uphill in the snow. Maybe we could turn around here. The snow is just a little... Like, obviously, the other group put some tree branches down here to kind of get a little traction and then drove up on the hill. I wonder... But there wasn't snow here yesterday. There wasn't snow here yesterday. But, I mean, with that, that tree branch there, there might be enough grip to stop from sliding into the truck. It'd be a really crappy angle to drive on, is all. I I think the angle itself might tip your top into it, potentially. Yeah, I see what you're saying. We're about a third of the way through the trail. Somewhere right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. Ugh, rough. Going around this, this is much more of an angle than you can tell on the camera. It's like, like that. We could go this way, but we'd have to cut down about six little trees. There's also supposedly another broken down truck that was with this group in a creek somewhere further up that we don't know the situation about. Snow starting to come down more heavy. It's supposed to snow more tomorrow, which means we could get stuck in here. So I think, turn around. I think that's the plan. When you when you weigh in all the variables, so. Well, that's the vote. We're gonna try and turn around and we're gonna find another route. So stick around, video's not over. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. 60% of people watching are not subscribed. Why so many percentages? That's one of you. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, man, if this truck wasn't here, I don't know. I feel like it's a sign, you know? We were all morning, we were kind of hemming and hawing over it, just like with the amount of snow that came down and continues to come down. So I think this is, I think you're right. I think this is like, all right. It really guts me to back down from a mission, but we we're all a bit concerned about what the weather would bring in the following 24 hours. And the truck blocking the trail just made the decision easier. So we started making our way back the same way we came in. Here we go. 
Yeah, when we get to camp, I'll request a weather update on the Garmin. What to expect at least. Just like with all our adventures, it's not really about the destination, but the fun and the challenges along the way. And in that sense, this was a huge success. Was it? For the reverse ladder climb down. I felt like an old man just like hobbling my way down. <laughs> morning, Teddy. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. This is a fantastic morning. Like way better than yesterday. Yeah, way better. Than yesterday. <laughs> That's pork and good. <laughs> I I can't even function around you with your freaking jokes. Mmm, it's dirty. Wait, double? Yeah. Okay. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like an ad, semi automatic you don't have it anybody, anybody to buck back. Hold the catch a vibe into where we are you recording? Yep. That's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs>